are the French 12 Mr. Man Loomis books and the story today of age and for me. It's the 12 Mr. Man Loomis stories and the big Mr. Strong Day is all the star day and, and little bit late. Mr. Grumpy. Mr. Smallest Last is the 12 Mr. Man and Loomis stories It's Little Miss Greedy Mr. Clumsy and Little Miss Fun And Mr. Chatterbox and Mr. Uppertay Little Miss Magic Mr. Rush and Little Miss Tiny to him And it is the, the 12 Mr. Man and Loomis stories Little Miss Tidy by Roger Hargraves Little Miss Tidy was an extraordinarily tidy person. In Little Miss Tidy's house, everything had its place. She had a huge handbag, which she would fill with all sorts of things until she had time to put them all away tidily. Then there were all her boxes. She had small ones, medium ones, big ones, enormous ones, round ones and square ones. And this is where Little Miss Tidy tidied away all her things. Nothing was ever left lying around in her house. Now, with all this tidying up going on, you'd think that Little Miss Tidy was perfect, wouldn't you? Well, she isn't. On Monday at nine o'clock, she'd telephone Mr. Clever. Hello, Mr. Clever. As you are so clever, she said, could you tell me where I put my hairbrush when I tidied up? On Tuesday at ten o'clock, she telephoned Mr. Mean. Hello, Mr. Mean. As you like money so much, she said, could you tell me where I put my purse when I tidy up? On Wednesday, at 11 o'clock, she telephoned Mr. Strong. Hello, Mr. Strong. As you like eggs so much, she said. Could you tell me where I put my boiled egg when I tidy up? On Thursday, at 12 o'clock, she telephoned Mr. Nosey. Hello, Mr. Nosey. As you're always poking your nose into things, she said. Could you tell me where I put my surfing spoon when I tidy up? On Friday, she didn't telephone anybody because she tidied away her phone and she had to run all the way to the Little Miss Chatterbox's house. Hello, Little Miss Chatterbox. As you love using the telephone, she said, could you tell me where I put my telephone when I tidy up? Luckily, thanks to all her friends, Little Miss Tidy was able to find all the things she'd lost that week. Her hairbrush was in a glove box, her purse was in a shoe box, her boiled egg was in the salt pot, her serving spoon was in the till box, and her telephone was in her sewing box. Little Miss Tidy certainly was very absent-minded when it came to remembering where she had put Ding all the things dong. where she was tidying up. But she couldn't help it. On Saturday, it was her birthday, and Little Miss Chatterbox came to her house, carrying a splendid-looking parcel, all tied up with red ribbon. Little Miss Tidy couldn't wait to see what was inside the present. It was a notebook and pencil. The perfect present for somebody who lost things as easy as Little Miss Tidy. Little Miss Tidy was as happy as, well, as happy as Mr. Happy. She spent the rest of the day opening all her boxes and writing down in her notebook everything that she had stored away in them. It was very late by the time she finished her list. She went to bed very tired. On Sunday morning, she went at the start. My notebook and pencil! She cried. Wherever did I put them when I tidy up? Little Miss Tidy spent all Sunday looking for a notebook and pencil. She had to open and close all the boxes again. Do you know where she eventually found her notebook and pencil? Yeah, so look it. On her bedside table. <laughs>